Okay, so what do we want to see? Either with a with a 10 power loop, which is very difficult sometimes, but with this microscope we can see easily. We want to see an inclusion. This inclusion in a natural emerald is under a microscope like this over here is going to look something like this. So it's going to be a little chaotic. This is an inclusion, it's just a space inside of the emerald, and then we're going to see a little bubble. This little bubble is a gas. And this gas is in a liquid. This is a liquid, and this is a gas. This can be reproduced in a synthetic stone. So the inclusions in this stone, which is a synthetic, has inclusions with gas and a liquid. What we don't have, and what tells us that it's not a natural emerald, is a crystal. This crystal is a solid. So we have a three-phase inclusion. These are the three phases that matter exist on this planet. We have everything is either a gas, a liquid, or a solid. So in a synthetic, we can have gas and liquid, and in a natural Columbian emerald, we will have this little teeny solid crystal, and that will conclusively tell us that it's a natural stone. Without this baby, it's a synthetic. Now, in this stone, we have inclusions, but they're not as chaotic as this. They're, they're, more, they're more rounded off, they're more even, and then we might have a bubble in it, or a bubble over here. So now we have our gas, and we have our liquid, but we don't have a crystal. And so we're going to see a lot of this, little bitty bubbles, little teeny bubbles, and these are little teeny, teeny weeny, minute little bubbles that we can see with this. But you can see the difference, and these are all very orderly, and um, this order is not something that nature made. What we want to see in nature is chaos. So these jagged edges help tell me that it's, a stone is natural, and this will tell a gemologist in a laboratory or sitting here in my office that the stone is natural. How about that? Now this stone looks very dark, but very clean, but maybe you can see some inclusions in there. Can you see some inclusions in there? <clears throat> It's a flat stone, so we have a big window. But I'm going to move it a little bit so you can see that it has an inclusion inside of it. These are professionally made stones. With rather advanced equipment. But one way or another, these come out, you know, a thousandth of the cost of a natural stone. So, these could fool you easily. And almost fool a gemologist. But experience is a lovely thing and just usually, usually looking, for thing, uh, looking for inclusions with a loop will tell you that it's not natural. It takes a little bit of experience. I've been doing this for 44 years, so it's, it's easy to see a synthetic for me, even from a distance. So there you all have it. Those are a lot of the ways that somebody could trick you into buying something that looked like an emerald, but wasn't. Well, thank you for watching our video. I know you enjoy learning about Colombian emeralds, so subscribe right here to see our next one. And come and visit us here at our website and see our social media.